is Clay Hayes with TwistedStave.com and Backcountry Hunters and Anglers coming to you from North Central Idaho and bringing you another episode of Backcountry College. The ability to find your way through an unfamiliar landscape is one of the hallmarks of woodsmanship. It's something that's vitally important if you're going to be spending much time at all off the beaten path, but it's also something that's often overlooked. Today we're going to be talking about the skills that you need to be confident in finding your way around the backcountry, and we're going to talk about map and compass skills in particular. Now these days, most people that get off the beaten path are going to have a GPS with them. Now these little things are really handy and they really excel in certain situations, like when you need to mark and find your way back to a specific spot. But for all their ups, using a GPS as your only tool for navigation has some serious drawbacks one of which is they're battery operated and well we all know what happens to batteries now before we get into the details of using a map and compass I just want to start off by saying that a big part of navigation is simply awareness awareness of where you are on the land where you've been and where you're going this simple act of picking your head up and looking around and making a middle note of where you are and where you've been can help keep you out of a lot of trouble if you ever did lose that unit if the batteries ran out or something else happened to it and you've been allowing that to plot your location and you haven't been paying as much attention all of a sudden you're out of context and you've lost that sense of place that is so important so if you're gonna be spending any time at all in the backcountry you need to have a map and compass with you and you need to know how to use them now before heading into the field there's one thing that we need to understand about that little north arrow on your compass and that is that it doesn't point north at least not the true geographic north. Your compass needle points to magnetic north, which can vary dramatically from geographic north, which is what's represented on your map. Luckily, there's a way to compensate for that, and that's called declination. Declination is the difference between true geographic north and magnetic north where your compass points. Now, in order to set your declination, you, you need to find out what it is for your area. Now these older USGS quad maps uh, will give you the declination, but this, the, the information that they give you on these maps probably isn't going to be correct. Uh, declination also changes through time. So these maps were done in, well this one was 1968. Um, so this one says it's 20 degrees east, um, and I know that the current declination for this uh, area is going to be about 14 degrees east so you need to get the most current declination adjustment that you can to adjust your declination on your compass uh, a good base plate compass or a good siding compass like this one will have a little declination adjustment screw uh, it's a little brass screw right here all you do uh, is just take your little key that they give you put it in that thing and turn your declination until you get the correct reading. Now the first thing I wanted to show you how to do is orient the map. What we're going to do is make sure that our compass is dialed uh, with the north arrow uh, to your little index right here. We're going to find the north on our map which is the top side here. Then we're going to lay our compass right along one of those grid lines. Now all we have to do is rotate our compass or rotate the whole thing until you're north arrow lines up inside of your orienteering arrow. Now the map is oriented to exactly the way the earth lays. Now we can see, I know exactly where I'm at. I'm right here on these bluffs and we've got this draw that you can see going off behind me. You can see uh, this canyon swings around and comes around us which it's doing right there and the big part of this canyon goes right off that way. Now let's say we want to take a bearing and we want to take it to this little open spot right here. We're going to put our compass up. We're going to find that little open spot in our sighting window. And then we're going to turn our bezel ring until our north arrow lines up with our orienteering arrow. And now we know that our bearing to that open spot there is 208 degrees, which you can see right here at your index. So we just shot a bearing to that clearing, and we want to find that feature on our map. Now we know 
our known location is right here on these bluffs so what we're gonna do this is the north on my map down here I've got the uh, north on my compass uh, pointed north now I want to take these lines and line those up with the north-south grid on my map and I want to slide that compass over until the edge of it lines up with our known location and then make sure that your orientation lines are still lined up with the north-south grid and we know that that clearing that we were looking at is this clearing right here because it lies along that same bearing. Now if you look closely right here at the tip of my pencil there's a little structure there and that's a barn. I can also identify that on my map. It's this little black dot right here. Over here I've got these two little knobs, this little knoll. I can find that on my map as well and that's this feature right here. Now if I can find two identif identifiable features on the landscape and I can also identify those two things on my map, I can triangulate my current position. So in order to triangulate my position I have to shoot a bearing to both of those locations and then plot that on my map. So here's our little house right here. That's our reference point. Gonna make sure our lines are lined up with the grid lines on our map. Gonna slide that over. Then we're gonna draw our line. Now we need to shoot a bearing to the other point. Plot that on our map. So that's these two little knolls here. Make sure our grid lines are lined up right there. And now our two lines intersect right here on this bluff where we know we're standing. All been pretty easy stuff. I just wanted to use this video to kind of show you the some of the fundamentals of using a map and compass. On the next video we're going to get out into a roadless area and we're going to use these techniques that we've used today to find our way through this landscape and we're going to go to a location that I've never been before using just a map and a compass. See you next time.